This is a classic pumpkin pie recipe. The difference is we're going to use a fresh sugar pumpkin that I picked up at a local farm stand down the road. It has a far superior taste to canned pumpkin and you'll understand why when you see the process of making and cooking off the pumpkin. These pumpkins are readily available. You have to make sure though that you get a sugar pumpkin, not one of the big jack-o'-lanterns that you use to carve out on Halloween. So we're going to start with a cup of sugar, four eggs, one cup of heavy cream. We're going to add some ground ginger, some ground allspice, some ground cloves, nutmeg, also ground, one teaspoon of bourbon vanilla, and one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so here is our sugar pumpkin that I roasted in the oven. It was in there for about 45 minutes to an hour, and I just tested it with a knife um, right through the skin just to make sure it was cooked all the way through. So I'm just going to take the pumpkin out of the skin. It's much lighter in color than the pumpkin you find in a can. It's just so fresh and, and natural. It looks beautiful. So the pie might not be as orange as your traditional pumpkin pie, but it's really much more flavorful. It has no additives, no preservatives, and it came from our local farm stand. So we'd like to support the local farmers when we can. So I'm going to just scoop out as much of the pumpkin to give me about three cups, because that will make one pie. You can take the rest of the pumpkin and you can make a pumpkin soup. You could make pumpkin raviolis with it. You could freeze it and use it for another time. Pumpkin muffins, pumpkin bread. Many, many uses for fresh pumpkin. So that looks like it's about three cups. You can measure it if you want, but I'm just gonna guesstimate it. And then I'm gonna just mash it with a masher. You can put it in a food processor if you want to to make it nice and smooth, but it's not necessary. Just gonna mash it up. Okay, so we're gonna add four eggs. No shells, just the eggs. And we're gonna mix that in. You can use just a rubber scraper or if you want to at this point, you could take a whisk and start to add the eggs around. Now you want to make sure that the pumpkin's not too hot when you add the eggs because you could scramble the eggs. So if the pumpkin's too hot, just let it cool down a little bit before you add the eggs. Okay, and then next we're going to add in the sugar. So we have a cup and a half of sugar. I'm going to add that in. And just whisk it around till it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to add in the spices, the cloves, the allspice, the ginger, the nutmeg, the little tiny bit of vanilla, just a little for flavor, and a pinch of salt, which just will bring out the flavor of the pumpkin a little bit more. Um, sometimes I add a little bit of fresh white pepper to it, which just gives it a little bit more spiciness. Um, it's kind of a hidden ingredient that people don't know about, but they really like. Um, so I'm just going to whisk this around till it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to add in a little bit more than a cup of cream, actually 18 ounces of heavy cream. And just mix that around until it's all nice and smoothly mixed together. So we have our pie pastry that I chilled in the fridge for about 20 minutes while I made the filling. So it's nice and chilled, and I'm going to just take the filling and pour it right into the shell. Now when we start this one in the oven, we're going to start it again at a, in a hot oven, about 400 degrees to start, just until the pastry set, so about 10 minutes, and then we're going to turn it down to about 350, 325, because we don't want the pumpkin to cook too quickly. It will um, souffle on you if you have the oven too hot, okay? So we're going to take it and put it right into the oven that's been preheated. So here we have our finished fresh pumpkin pie. We used the sugar pumpkin in it, which we cooked off in the oven. The crust is beautifully browned. The pumpkin is well set. The color is a little bit lighter than most pumpkin pies because it's fresh and it doesn't have any artificial 
ingredients in it. It's just fresh pumpkin right from the farm stand. Mm -hmm.